I do not need 50 feet of garland. <laughs> oh my god. This is this is not how I expected this to go. Oh, and it somehow seems to have tied itself into a knot. It's holiday chaos, the cheerful kind. Hello friends and welcome back to day two of Vlogmas 2023. If you missed the previous episode, we spent some time looking at all the various crafting supplies and projects I'll be bringing on tour with me, as well as had a sneak peek at opening night of our show, and we packed up for day one on tour. Now I'm on day four of the tour and I am about to get into my whole traveling Christmas decoration setup that we talked about in the first video. But first, what happened in the middle there? Where did days two and three go? Well, that first travel day was pretty short. It was only three hours long and most of it was spent finishing the edit on my costuming crisis video. The turnaround between these two cities was really tight, so when we arrived in Jacksonville, the rest of the day was spent in the theater. We unloaded our equipment, did lighting checks, sound checks, walked through the blocking to make sure that everybody was okay with their traffic on stage in this new theater where the dimensions were obviously slightly different than the theater where we had been rehearsing for the previous almost two weeks. Then, before we knew it, it was showtime. Then it was goodbye to Jacksonville and we were on our way to St. Petersburg, which is where I am right now. And now I finally have enough time to start setting up the Christmas decorations that I mentioned in the first video. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. I have my garland here. I have um, some thrifted random miscellaneous decorations. And now I just need to go dig in, find my twinkle lights, and we'll start setting this all up. Well, I found the lights, but it did occur to me that I probably should test them out and make sure they're working before I spend several minutes like using them and intertwining them with that garland. So let's just plug these in, do a little test, make sure they're working. Looking good. Okay, so I think I've got everything that I need here. I've got the garland, I've got the twinkle lights, I have the miscellaneous sparkly accents, and I also grabbed my sewing kit here because it has a pair of small scissors in it, and also it has a little bit of thread, so that way if I need to tie some of these accents in here, I can, because the goal is that I make something that is pretty bomb-proof in terms of I want to be able to just like grab it, ball it up, throw it in a bag, put the bag in my luggage, go to the next city, and then at the next city, just pull it out of the bag and set it somewhere, like 15 second setup is what I'm going for because we don't have so much time on tour and we're often only spending a day or two in every hotel. So if I have to like spend 10 minutes setting this up every city or like repairing it constantly, I'm not going to enjoy that and I might not use it. So we're going to spend the time now to make it bulletproof and then just enjoy it for the rest of the contract. Not entirely sure where this opens, so let's, uh, is that an end? That is definitely not an end. How long is this? 50 feet, okay. So 15 meters, that means this, uh, this is more than enough garland to cover our sway pole three times over, like up, down, and up again. I do not need 50 feet of garland, so I will probably be kind of like doubling this up, making it one shorter but much thicker garland, a little bit more voluptuous. Okay, I had not fully anticipated the length of this, so um, I think I'm gonna quadruple it. I don't know, but it's gonna take, we're gonna need to relocate for this, hold on. I still have no idea where the other end of this is. This very distinctly reminds me of every year when we pull out the Christmas lights from the previous year, and I swear, no matter how hard we try to pack them away carefully, and we do, we really do, we like coil them up nicely and put newspaper in between every layer of every string. It's still chaos trying to get them out and on the tree. It's holiday chaos, the cheerful kind. Oh, and it somehow seems to have tied itself into a knot. 
<laughs> oh my god. This is this is not how I expected this to go. We have a halfway point. Now we're gonna double it again. Oh. So theoretically, this should be 12 and a half feet long. Which is still maybe too long. I don't know. I'm... Let's let's test it on this uh, hotel room mantle because they actually kind of have a mantle here. So let's see. Um... Let's see how it goes on, on there. Well, this is by far the longest mantle desktop setup thing I've seen in a hotel in ever. And it's still, we still have way too much garland. So I think I'm just gonna have to cut it in half. It's not that I don't want the extra festivity, but it's also like, I need this to be manageable. I want it to be fairly simple and straightforward. And also I don't have a ton of these little embellishments. Like I have some, but I don't know that I have 12 and a half feet's worth. So I'm thinking maybe just cut this in half. Hopefully that'll be a bit more manageable. That is much better. So now I think I'm gonna braid these together, but I think I'm also gonna try and just braid the twinkle lights in there. So I'm gonna see how many times that length of uh, twinkle lights divides up into this. Ooh, is it gonna go in there four times? Like just evenly, wow. So I've got the garland all separated into three pieces and the goal is gonna be just to now braid the lights and the garland together. I'm gonna see, I'm not sure how well it's gonna work because one of these strands of lights has a loop at the bottom, so it might not work at all, but we're just gonna give it a try. I'm just giggling at the pure ridiculousness of the fact that this table has a handle in it, which works perfectly for supporting the garland. And I'm gonna take that as a sign that it's meant to be, that this is gonna go well. So here we go, let's braid. Oh my God, it looks, it looks so good. I'm so happy with how that worked. I am gonna go do one last light check. I did leave myself a fair amount of cable here. Make sure that the lights are still working because if they're not, they're not coming out of here. And then assuming that the lights are working, gonna go ahead and start embellishing it. Oh, it looks so good. Okay, embellishment time. Well, the gold accents are going in. They went in just lovely. They were fairly easy to weave in, but the red ones are proving a little bit more difficult because they're more fragile. You can see they're made out of styrofoam. So if you're a little bit too rough with them, you end up shredding the berries. So I think I'm just gonna wedge them in and then either see if there's some hot glue at the theater I can use tonight, or I'll just sew them in with some thread, which is maybe a little bit more effort than I was hoping to go to. But for now, we're just going to gently weave them in as much as possible and then lay this out on the mantle and surprise Phil when he gets back from the beach. The, the beach in December, so weird. All right, well, I'm calling that done for now, unless I can get my hands on a hot glue gun and secure those red berries a little bit more, but it's looking very festive. I'm very pleased with how it's turning out. I did make an absolute disaster of my bed. There is gold glitter and bits of garland all over the place, but now I think I'm going to get this set up on the mantle here and then pull out my iPad and see if we can get a little fireplace going. Oh, it's so cozy. I love it. I love it. Okay, 
So the fireplace, what is the game plan for the fireplace? This is the game plan for the fireplace. This is an absolutely ancient iPad that no longer gets used and basically is going to be set up as a dedicated fireplace with the 10 hour fireplace on YouTube that it, I used for my recycled fireplace a couple years ago. That thing was amazing. We used it all the time. I kid you not, it sounds so silly, but we legitimately use that fireplace all the time. So I'm gonna use the same video on this iPad and just set it up going. It won't have all the fancy decor around the outside because that contraption, while it was cool, also weighed a ton and was giant. So gonna do a little bit of googling and download that video onto here and then see if we can get a roaring fireplace for the middle of Florida. Well, I think I got that to work. It is still downloading right now because it is quite a large file. So we're gonna wait and save the reveal tonight, which is fine because then we're gonna have the full ambiance effect when it's a little bit darker out with those twinkle lights. And I basically am perfectly on time to go grab some lunch and then head over to the theater for another load in, sound check, all that good stuff, and then a show tonight. So let's get going. Look, 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 look. Ah, oh, Christmas! Just working on getting the fireplace set up. Nice. How is the beach? Uh, we ended up going jet ski. <laughs> This theater was by far the coolest we've been to yet. In addition to the arcade games backstage, we also had our own private and spacious dressing room complete with mini fridge, bathroom, armchairs, and a full-sized couch. Here it is in its finished form for the moment at least, although as you can probably tell, it did get upgraded to the bedside table because I noticed that our lamp actually has a plug in the base of it. So this way, it's not only cozy holiday cheer, but it's also very cute ambient nightlight before bed. And then I can just reach over and like pull it out right before I go to sleep. So that's fantastic. I'm honestly, I'm just super happy with how it turned out. I'm really glad that I did it. It just adds that little touch of holiday cheer into all of the hotel rooms that will be in on tour. As for the fireplace, it's a fantastic touch. I'm very happy with it in general. However, it is, I don't know if you can tell on the screen, but it's very low quality. It's like 480p maybe. So. We're gonna upgrade that situation once the internet connection's a little bit better, but for now, again, just adding that little bit of cozy cheer into here. And now, since this is basically taking the place of my Christmas tree this year, I need to ask the burning question that is on my mind, and that is, are you a colored Christmas lights person or are you a white Christmas lights person? This is the hot debate. People come down very hard on either side and I want to know which one you are. I will tell you my story with Christmas lights. I grew up with a multicolored Christmas tree. We had the classic multicolored strings that would go on the Christmas tree, you know, carefully coiled every year, like I said. And that was one option. And then we also had the option to switch all the lights off except for blue. So we would we would string several blue strings on one plug and then the multicolors on the other plug. And that was just because it had special significance to my father, hearkening back to some childhood Christmas memories for him. So that was kind of a unique 
option. I don't know anyone else that had the option to have an all blue Christmas tree. So that was what I had as a child, but now growing up, especially because I spend a lot of my Christmases in Europe, I personally, when I decorate my tree, I do it with all whites now. So I still love the multicolored Christmas tree. I love our family Christmas tree, but when I do it at home in our apartment, it's always white. And then I add in the touches of color and character and personality with the hodgepodge of Christmas ornaments that I absolutely insist on collecting, usually on my travels, whatever city I'm in that year for Christmas. I have ornaments from China and from all over Germany and Switzerland and just so many countries. So it's kind of fun to have a little, little collection of memories there. So be sure to let me know which camp you fall into, if your camp colored lights or if your camp white lights, because that is that is can be quite a hot debate. So I hope you had fun. Um, if you're crafting along with me, be sure to let me know what it is that you're working on. If you're cleaning today, doing some holiday prep, let me know if you got that accomplished because not just a cute face on the internet, I can also be your accountability buddy. Like last time, if you have questions for me about these videos, about the circus or the crafting or the show, be sure to let me know down below. I will get around to answering them. I promise it's just that there's a little bit of a delay between filming these videos and releasing them and need a little bit of time to compile a list of a few interesting questions before I start answering them. But I absolutely will get to it. I will also be doing more crafting. I got started on some knitting, cast on a project today, very excited about it, and so far it's going very well. So that will be next Vlogmas. So thank you so much for joining me. Great timing, the plumbing just kicked on in the neighboring room, so I'm gonna wash off my face, go to bed, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Ooh, ow, pins and needles. Pins and needles. Okay, time to actually go do some laundry because I realized that's something I gotta do before bed. Bye!